Hi, my name is Paul Anderson, and I'm a certified registered nurse anesthetist, or CRNA, with over 15 years of experience working in a variety of practice settings. These experiences range from working on anesthesia care teams with anesthesiologists, in CRNA-only groups, as a solo CRNA at a small community hospital, and as an independent contractor. This series of videos is designed to answer your questions about becoming a CRNA. While the focus of these videos is concerned with the requirement and application process, I do occasionally answer questions about being a CRNA. One of the most frequently asked questions that I hear is, how much money can I make as a CRNA? While I hope this is not the most important reason that you are looking to become a nurse anesthetist, I do know that it can be a strong motivating factor, both for completing the application process and getting through the training program. CRNAs have to complete a challenging education and training process, and the work that we do and the care that we provide to our patients can be very stressful. At times, no matter how much you make, you feel it is nowhere near enough, then again, on the other hand, there are rare times when you'll be sitting there thinking, man, it's hard to believe I'm being paid as much as I am for what I do. So let's get on with the answer to this question. As a new CRNA graduate, working full-time as an employee for a hospital or an anesthesia group, you can earn between $100,000 and $140,000, depending on the geographical location and type of practice setting. The 2010 annual survey of the members of the American Association of Nurse Anesthetists showed that in 2009, the median annual income of all CRNAs that are full-time employees of a hospital or anesthesia group was $160,000. This includes wages and benefits. Now, more than 70% of all CRNAs are employees in this setting, and the majority of new graduates will work in the employee setting to gain experience. Most of these facilities pay an hourly wage or an annual salary based on a 40-hour work week. Most pay overtime either when you work more than 8 hours in a day or more than 40 hours in a week. With experience, the willingness to travel or relocate, and to work with different clinical settings, you can significantly increase this amount. The same survey showed that the total compensation of the upper 10% of full-time employee CRNAs was greater than $215,000, while the top 10% of full-time self-employed CRNAs were making more than $294,000. Additionally, there are a very wide range of benefit packages that can be offered that will increase your earnings. These benefits can include reimbursement for travel expenses for the job interview, payment of relocation allowances to offset the expense of moving to the new job location, some facilities that are located in areas with shortage of anesthesia providers may pay a signing bonus or assist with the repayment of student loans occurred during your anesthesia training. While in school, some institutions have even signed contracts with students to cover very amounts of their school expenses and have paid stipends. These benefits will require you to sign a contract with a commitment to work for that facility for a set period after graduation. The more common benefits that will increase your income include various insurance packages. These include combinations of medical, dental, prescription, disability, long-term care, and life insurance, as well as a variety of retirement plans. Most facilities will also cover you under their group malpractice insurance. Other benefits may include reimbursement for expenses for continuing education to maintain your certification, as well as certification in ACLS and PALS, and possibly paid time off to attend continuing education seminars. I hope you are enjoying the videos, and they are providing the answer to your questions. Now, please leave your comments below. Ask your questions about becoming a CRNA. Your answer may even be covered in an upcoming video. Also, don't forget my blog on becoming a CRNA at www.rntocrna.com where I will be updating information and answering further questions. So, if you are an RN and feel that becoming a certified registered nurse anesthetist is the next step in your career, come and explore the possibilities. Then let's get after it. Thanks again for watching the video, and I will see you on the next one.